Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun tech reviewer, back with another video. Today's video, yes, I want to do a comparison between my Oppo Find N2 and the Galaxy Z Fold 4. But before I get into this video, check this out. Okay everyone, so I'm back with another video today. Today's video, yes, I'm gonna do a comparison between the Oppo Find N2 and then also the Galaxy Z Fold 4. A lot of people have been asking this. This is not a camera comparison. This is just a face-to-face -face comparison. Let's go over the overall build quality, the cameras, the battery life, the speakers, the form factor, and anything else I can come up with in this video. So let's get it going. I don't want to try to make this video too long. Hopefully I don't talk as much as I normally do. Y'all can always tell me shut up in the comments. But let's talk about form factor and which one I'm enjoying more. Honestly, when you look at form factor, when you look at usability of the front screen and the overall form factor as far as size, the Oppo Find N is the better form factor. I love how this front screen is. I love the, when you open it up, it has the horizontal more of a screen. Now, some of the apps are not optimized yet for the horizontal. It does try to make you do it vertically, which is okay. You just have to rota rotate your phone. But overall form factor, I give it to the Oppo Find N. Now, again, I enjoy my Galaxy Z Fold 4. I'm not getting rid of this one. I probably will. I won't get rid of it yet. I probably will trade it in for the Z Fold 5, but I do like, you know, I, I do like the bigger screen when you open it up. Look at that. It's a beautiful display. It has the pen support, 120 hertz refresh rate, but the form factor, I enjoy more on the Oppo Find N. So form factor goes to the Oppo Find N. As far as, look at the hinge to the overall build quality on both phones. I'm going to say that's a tie, except for the hinge part. The hinge is where Oppo finds a better design and they do a little bit more. Now, the hinge is also a better design and it's better on the Find N2 than what it was on the Find N1. And the hinge on this one is not bad, but when you look at the crease, look at the crease on the display. You can see it there. The crease on here is not as noticeable. It's really not. It's there. I mean, you can see it. Don't get me wrong. But it's not as noticeable as the Z Fold 4. So, overall form factor and build quality, Oppo Find N. Where this one does a better job is the display. The display itself, the panel, is better on the Z Fold 4. It gets brighter during the day. It's, it's more vibrant. I'm watching YouTube on here, the vibrantness of this display, I don't even know that's a word. The display is great on the Z Fold 4. Now, again, it's not bad on this one, but when I go during the day and I'm trying to film something outside, this one gets a lot more. This The Oppo Find N is harder to see than the Z Fold 4. Definitely the panels on here are better than the Z Fold, I mean the Find N2. Is, is no question. Now, battery life, let's talk about battery life. The battery life on here has been good, but nowhere near the Oppo Find N. Now, this one has a 45, 20 milliamp hour battery. This one has a 4,400 milliamp hour battery. Not that big of a difference, but the optimization and the way that Oppo does everything, this one is better battery life for sure. You have to do a little bit more work when you do notifications and stuff. And maybe that's why you get better battery life. But the Oppo Find N2 definitely has better battery life. Because we talk about the display. The speakers on here, I'm going to say that it's a draw. I don't, I don't really notice that much of a difference. I will say that they are pretty loud on both of the phones. I don't really have a problem or even a favorite on the speakers. But look at, look at both of them. Look at the difference there. <laughs> I do, I, like I said, the form factor on here is just better. Build is just better on his too. Now, when I say build, you can't go wrong. Look at that matte finish. 
The matte finish on both of these look great. Speakers though, I'm a I'm gonna say it's a tie. Very, very close. I don't really have a winner on the speakers. Where the Z Fold 4 wins too is the overall software experience with Android 13 on here. And this one has Android 13 now too. The overall experience, the easy to use, the decks on here. If you are big with decks, then you love the Z Fold 4. And overall, just how the apps are made for this phone a little bit more than on this one. They look better on this phone than they look on this one. Some of these apps are not optimized. You can make it full screen. Then it makes you rotate the phone, which can become a pain. But it's not bad. It's not like a deal breaker for me. Like my banking app makes me rotate. There's a couple other apps on here that will make you rotate your screen, which is not a big deal. But overall, the software experience is better on the Z Fold 4. Multitasking. Like here I can do... I can swipe down, I can pull up Twitter. Now, if I wanna do a floating bore, I can do a floating bore and, and have three little apps, but here, I already have three apps, plus I could do a floating bore, so I have four apps open at the same time. So the overall experience, the little task bar down here is better on the Z Fold 4 than it is on the Oppo task bar because it really doesn't show up until you clear it out. So you have the little test board down there. So again, overall software experience will go to the Z Fold 4. There's no questions about it. It has the same Snapdragon processor on here. So as far as snappiness and responsiveness, that's a tie. The software, you can play games on both of these phones and good. It's just the overall Google experience and just the optimization of the apps to fit the screen. This one takes it by a little bit. Now, using this as an everyday phone and making phone calls, getting text messages, getting everything that you do when you just have a regular phone, it's better on the Z Fold 4. And the only reason is because this phone is not made for the US. You have to do a lot more work to get everything to work perfectly on this phone. And you still may have some hiccups. Like the other day, my daughter said she was calling me. I didn't get the message. I didn't get any like deny calls. And I never had that problem with the Z Fold 4. I think sometimes it gets messed up. Like even at work, when I'm trying to pull up certain apps at work, you can say that the Oppo Find N2 moves a little bit slower than say the Z Fold 4 would do when you're trying to open up certain apps. So again, the Z Fold 4, Overall, like using it as an everyday phone is better on the Z Fold 4. It's just because this phone is not made for the US. I do enjoy this phone a lot. It, the Oppo Find N2 is 10 times better than the Oppo Find N1 when it comes to overall experience, software experience, connectivity, 5G speeds. It's five time, 10 times better than the Oppo Find N1. So. I can't, if they ever make a global version of this phone, I would recommend getting it and getting it pretty quickly. Now, let's talk about a little bit about the specs. You have, you can get 256, 512, or a terabyte of storage on here with 12 gigs of RAM. This one has 12 gigs of RAM. You can actually spike up the RAM too by using some of the storage, but you can get this one in 256 and 512. Another thing about price, let's talk about price and value. If I'm talking about price, if I use the MSRP, the, the out-of-pocket expense for this one was $18.99, where this one is $14.99. And you can get discounts off of like using Honey and stuff. Then you would say this one would be a better price. But if you paid $18.99 for this and you didn't do a trade-in, that is your own fault. I spent like $7.99 on this phone because I had to trade-in and I got $1,000 off. Where... This phone is $14.99, I don't have any type of trade-ins. So the price, if I'm doing MSRP, then the price is Oppo Finance, it's a better value, it's $300 cheaper than, you know, getting the, the Galaxy Z Fold 4. If this ever became available in the US, it could be even cheaper because in China it's like 1100 by importing it, it, it adds a couple hundred dollars to the price of it now camera wise 
I am doing a camera comparison between both phones. I'm working on that. The rear cameras are video. Right now, I'm going to say that the Z Fold 4 takes it a little bit, but I'm going to definitely want your opinions on it. Where, it is, where this one wins is in the front display. The undercover, I mean, the under display camera is trash. Where this one has a little cutout on the side, which you don't really notice. But that camera is a lot better than the under display, hands down. The front camera on here, I don't, it can't really compete with the Z Fold 4 as when it comes to video. Because on this one, you can do 4K at 60. Here is 1080p at 30. The quality wise of the photos are pretty close to, it's pretty close. But the Z Fold 4 actually edges out. The cameras on the Oppo Find N2 exactly are better than, say, the Oppo Find N1, but I don't know if that's as good as the Z Fold 4. It's very close though. I'm gonna do a comparison. I want y'all to check out that video, leave y'all comments on there, and y'all can tell me what y'all think about it. Cause sometimes what I see is different than what y'all see. Every, when you do a camera comparison, it's very subjective though. Very subjective. Let's talk about pen support. I don't have the pen for this one, but when you come down to it, I know the pen support on this is good. I'm glad that they added it to it, but get the pen support to the uh, Galaxy Z Fold 4. Another thing, this does not have wireless charging. This one does, Z Fold 4. No water resistance. This one has water resistance now. Again, Z Fold 4. So when you look at wireless charging and stuff like that, yeah, the Z Fold 4 wins. Now where this one kicks butt is in the wire charging department. 67 watt charger. It charges this thing pretty quick. Like Easy says from Easy Computer Solutions, you can shit shower and shave and get like 60 or 70% on your battery. This one takes a little bit longer. Not too bad though. So Oppo Find N takes that. Now let's wrap up the video. Overall experience, which one would I recommend? That is a tough decision. I mean, because depending on where you live at, how is your speeds now with, you know, 5G and 4G LTE? If you're in the area now and you struggle with connection, I would have to say the Z Fold 4 probably would be the better option because this one still has problems even with T-Mobile in some spots around me and I get good connections with the Z Fold 4. But if you live in an area like me, you just want to pick which one you think that would work better for your case. Do your homework. For me, I am enjoying this uh, Oppo Find N2. Love the form factor, love the display, love the overall build quality of it. So I'm really enjoying it. I hope more phones become like this size than this one here. And, and like I said, Google makes a phone like this, then I think Samsung would have to start doing it and Apple jumps in it would even make it even more of a competition. But overall form factor, again, I like the Oppo Find N. As the overall winner experience, man, I'm gonna say it's a tie. I can't pick a winner. It's too hard, like I'm enjoying both of these phones. I haven't said this before in this video, but if it doesn't fold, it's old. You can't go wrong with either one of these phones unless you live in like the country and you don't get great reception, I have to say get the Z Fold 4. But if you're anywhere else, you get pretty good reception, you know, with AT&T or T-Mobile, then I would say try out the Oppo Find N because I think you will enjoy it. It's a great experience. I went over some of the different comparisons. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do so for more coverage on both of these phones, I will be doing more videos on both of them. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Forbes Reviews. Become part of the BAM Nation. And until next time, peace. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day.